Hey guys, today we talk Camel Grind in Warzone Mobile. I wanted to do a video to keep you guys updated on my progression, what I've been working on since the game released globally. I didn't grind on PC and console before, so I started the game when it launched on global. So, and I get asked a lot, like, are you gonna grind the camels in this game like you didn't cut him? I'm like, yeah, of course I'm gonna grind Priceless and, and Interstellar. It's an Interstellar Road to Interstellar episode 1 today. But yeah, of course I'm gonna do it. It's just, I said I don't wanna just grind five, six, seven, eight hours a day and not have fun and and not enjoy it. I feel like, it, like if I sit down and just grind camos five, six hours a day, I'm gonna hate it. I'm gonna hate the game. I'm gonna hate what I'm doing because it's not fun. But I love playing the game and I love grinding events. So anytime I play, I keep in mind I want to grind camos and I have to do stuff that will help me at the same time so you need to level up guns and then at some point you need to sit down and check your challenges and see what you're missing and do some sessions of grinding for sure but no don't want to just grind and not have fun so here's the progression and there's been updates also huh, since the game came out because when I first made my camo guy to unlock these guns you needed I think you needed 36 forge and now it's 46 and you had six ARs before you could start grinding your AR forge and now it's eight. So now you need eight gilded ARs to start grinding your forge challenges. So just so you know, we're talking modern warfare three guns here. The interstellar grind is for MW three guns only. The MW two guns are something else. All right. So my goal right now is to get interstellar. That's my first long-term goal. And I want to show you guys what I did since the game released and what I want to do now and what's next in the next couple of weeks. So when I started, I just grinded a bunch of random guns. I did one or two ARs. I did a couple SMGs. I was playing a bit of multiplayer, a bit of like BR challenges and stuff but at some point i sit and i started grinding like methodically i i said okay i'll level up all my ars and then i'll do all the base camos on all my ars and then i will do the gilded ars and when there were six i had all six with all four base camos and i had all six gilded and all six forged and then they added more guns and then they change it to eight so in the last couple of weeks whenever i was playing i was leveling up my fr556 and recently my dg56 and they were both max leveled by grinding some plunder for events and, and a bit of multiplayer so i sit down one morning and i said okay now today i finished my last two ars i finished like the long shots i think usually it's the headshots and the long shots you're missing and then I check the Gilded and the Forge. So this is what I have now. I have all eight MW3 ARs, all eight Gilded and all eight Forge. So this is my eight Forge, by the way. Now in the past, I did a couple SMGs. I think I have the Rival 9 Gilded and probably the HRM9 Gilded also. If I equip, we'll see. But yeah, this is the HRM9. It's Gilded and all four base. So I think I have two SMGs. The SMGs are kind of painful because the Gilded challenge, I think, you have to kill enemies that were flashed or affected by a concussion or flash grenade. So it's very hard and, and it's not something you can just grind. Like usually what I used to do is I have, or I used to have a second loadout in multiplayer called SMG Sprint. And I used to always have a SMG there. So if I ever get shipment, I would switch loadout and start working on these challenges. So I always had a gun there that needed the concussion kills or flashbang kills. So it's easier to work on this on shipment. So I try to keep that in mind. I think I should still do it, but I have the knife here. So I'm working on the knife right now and I can show you the gutter knife. Um, it's missing like, I have like, it's just one base camo on the knife, but here you see the gilded and now they show the progression. Huh? I have six out of 10. So whenever I find shipment, I'll just use this and try to get my last four kills. And until then I'll try to level up some other SMGs 
just so I always have an SMG here. So I think if you want to keep your sanity and you want to do it smart, I don't think you should grind all the SMGs in one week and try to get all these kills because you're going to waste too much time on that one specific challenge. I think it should be more situational, but just so you have, always have it in mind, always have an SMG here. Whenever you get shipment, work on that SMG and try to get more kills. And when you don't have shipment, well, just go back to your other loadout and work on your snipers or uh, ARs or whatever you're trying to do. So my eight ARs are done. I have a few random SMGs, but I'll keep it like on the side. So now I decided to work on my BRs, my battle rifles. I have the first two, the subverter and the BASB. They're both gilded now. So if you check here, they both max, they both have their four base camos and they all have gilded, but I cannot do the forge yet. So on the battle rifles, you need four gilded BRs to start working on the forge. So I said, okay, my next challenge now, I'll work on my four battle rifles. That's my next goal. So next I need to level up my Sidewinder and uh, my MTZ762. Uh, I need to level up these two guns, four of 28, 16 of 23. So starting this week, we're going to get new weekly challenges. We're probably going to have to play more BR. So I think I will just equip these guns in my battle royale loadout and I'll just level up these two guns. I'll use them until the max level and then later I'll go back to multiplayer and do my challenges and then I'll do my four forge camels. That's all I need to do. Level up these two guns, gilded and forge and then forge on all four. And that's going to be another big step. So that's my next goal. And I keep working on SMGs on the side, just like casually. Like I said, I don't want to go crazy and I don't want to hate it. Definitely not. And then the rest is going to be later. Like I'm working on my BRs. Then I'll probably equip some shotguns and the LMGs level up when I do my BR uh, plunder weekly challenges. Whenever I play BR, I level up my guns. And when I have some free time and when I want to just grind an hour, then i go back to multiplayer and then i'll work on some camo so that's pretty much it right now guys i have like all my ars done I have a bunch of guns that are max level some guns are already gilded but it's pretty random like i have the melee i have a rocket launcher and a couple smgs are done but it's it's just random i want to be more methodical you know i want to like have an order so i don't lose lose track of what I'm trying to do and stay focused on the mission kind of but that's it guys just wanted to give you guys an update on what I've been working on am I grinding what am I doing am I serious about this so yeah I, I am doing this but it's just not like I'm not gonna go crazy like I said just want to just do a little bit here and there but always stay focused and keep progressing so I'll do more of these updates once in a while not every week definitely not but maybe once a month or something so you guys can follow and maybe compare like your progression with my progression how you guys doing let me know in the comments are you working on it what are you working on you have any tips for me am i doing it right or if you guys think i'm totally lost let me know always open to suggestions but that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed the little video i'll see you guys in the next one